Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We're on board the Normandy. We had another one of those kind of chat with the crew episodes last time. It was fascinating learning about Garrus's kind of uh, past or the past two years, what he's been doing in the interim, this, this kind of failed squad, um, how he was betrayed. There was a Judas in amongst um, his crew who sold them out and got everyone except Garrus killed. And we've got like a kind of future side quest, I guess, to go and look for him, but he doesn't really have any idea where this uh, betrayer is currently. Um, so we, we spoke to everyone else as well. We learned a lot about Miranda's history, which was really interesting. Um, seemed like the kind of bubblings of a romance with, with Jacob or potential one. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, at the minute, I'm concentrating on romancing Edith, the ship AI. <laughs> she, seems to see she, she seems to be the person I've got the most in common with. <laughs> Shepard, what are you doing with the computer? Nothing! Um, okay, so uh, I'm a bit unsure what to do next. Uh, thankfully, you guys give me some great feedback about stuff that was kind of side quests. Um, not side quests, stuff that was DLC and added in, so it doesn't necessarily have to be stuff that I need to th think is going to get cut off in other places. Um, like the Normandy crash site was DLC. Apparently Zaid in the game was DLC, um, as well as, I think, Kasumi. Uh, but after Garrus, Archangel, being Garrus, I'm wondering if some of these are some of our other squad mates. Because, I mean, this could definitely be a Rex, right? This could be an alias. I, I know he's not really a doctor, but he could have started some sort of facili facility. Oh, but it's co it's, it's collected technology. Oh, no, just, yeah. Could be. Could be him. This exceptional biotic ability, Jack. I have no idea who that could be. If, um... Unless it's Liara, I mean. <laughs> but it says that it's a human, so that would be very obscure. Um, yeah, obviously we're going to go to the Citadel at some point. Uh, this Master Thief, don't think that's anyone we know. Uh, couldn't be Ashley, Master of Stealth. Doubtful. Um, yeah. And this is a quest to help Zaid that he did tell it. He kind of pressured us to do it sooner rather than later. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what to do. But um, you guys, I think, kind of maybe took me the wrong way a little bit. I'm talking about like episode three um, where I was meeting all the crew for the first time. I think you maybe kind of took my sense of humour a, <laughs> a bit the wrong way as if Ferris Fields. Oh. On your yeah, Ferris gone. Fields, everything's gone oh, wrong there. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Um, I wasn't necessarily... I wasn't condemning everybody. I'm just... I think one of the things that, like, doing Let's Plays, like, I, I'm... This is just, like, the stream coming out of my brain. Like, a lot of the stuff that I say sometimes isn't particularly measured because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to just share my thoughts, my kind of unedited thoughts. So, like, I, I, I like Joker, but I didn't like what he said. So that's why I said I wanted to kick him in the face, because <laughs> he compared Edith to ship cancer, which I just thought was a really crude joke. I still like Joker, although he is kind of the reason... Minor spike in the primary core, compensating. He is kind of the reason we died. So, there is that. It does, I, 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 I do like Joker, but I just found what he, he said in that moment to be a bit annoying. Um, admittedly, Kelly does freak me out a bit. Uh, my impressions on Miranda, they're just my first impressions. That's, you know... Um, things will change as we experience things with them. Oh! There's a picture of Liara. One of you said to inspect my desk a bit. Oh, Liara. I hope we get to find her. There's no guarantee though, right? Um, 
I'm gonna just change my outfit just for the sake of it. Not my armor, my casual appearance. Um, I think we might go. For, I don't want to go for that. I don't want to go for the bog standard, just because it looks like we've got really big trousers on. Should we go for the doctor's outfit for a bit? I can't believe some of you said that you like this. Do not get that. That goes against every sense of fashion that I have. Yeah, let's go for that. We are an engineer after all, it just makes our arms look really skinny. Yeah, we'll stick with that kind of eye thing that we've got on for the time being. Yeah, so we're just going to talk to Edith because there's some dialogue that I've missed apparently. And we'll see how this looks in cutscenes. Have we got trousers on? Yeah, it's kind of like a, a, a mix. It's kind of like a half skirt. Okay, Edith? Yes, Shepard. Let's talk about you. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? You and Joker. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Well, the the last Normandy did blow up, and you were kind of the reason that I died. <laughs> How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Oh. Was that it? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices, but I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Okay. Let's discuss something Ready. else. Okay. That's all for now. We, 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 we heard everything else, I'm sure. I don't mind this outfit. I don't like the arms, but I think that because we have that kind of giraffe neck at times, it's uh, having something with a slightly higher collar does tend to look nicer. Pursuit tactics. Okay. So I need to decide what to, where to go, what to do. So I'm just going to go on the map and have a look. Um, do I have resources to spend? Where where the resources? Oh, there is. They're, they're right here. Yeah, I spent some of my palladium, so it's not full up now. Okay. Yeah, so all I was trying to say was, um, if I'm being harsh, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's just part of my sense of humour, I need to vet a little bit. I don't know. Okay, so this is going to tell us the missions that are in the various locations. Oh, but we can use these to jump. So I imagine if we took if we if we if we went to the Omega 4 relay, we would go back to the Citadel to Citadel space, yeah. Right, okay. <sighs> oh right. Right, that's good. Okay, so these are the terminus systems, right? And it's, oh right, this is really helpful. It's, it's listing all the quests that are in each one. So the Omega Nebula is where we are now. Um, oh right, so the arrows are going to different places within this that cluster, to different star systems within that cluster. And we use the relays to travel to other clusters. Okay, Project Overlord is a companion. Convict is the biotic. Was it Jack? Companion. Warlord. Companion. Oh no, Project Overlord was uh, something for um, the elusive man. There's Zaid's extra quest. And uh, MSV Rosalie. And there's the master. I'm interested in this master thief. I am interested in helping out Zaid though, because he just, I don't like, he put, um, 
Oh, we fully explored the Serpent Nebula. I don't understand. The local... Oh, and that's Sol. Okay. And then if we just check out the Omega-4... The Omega-4 relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings. Over the past thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones who pass freely back and forth through the relay are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega-4. Some say there is a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly the impoverished underclass of Omega, believe there is some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the collectors capture or destroy those passing through the relay. Okay. So that's definitely not where we want to go because we're being warned that our ship is just not capable of uh, dealing with. Oh, we've not been to this planet, have we? Unexplored. Erdak. Erdak is a close orbiting brown dwarf. Most red brown dwarf binary systems have an average separation of AAU. The Sar Sar Sarabaric system is about 12 billion years old and it has a long and it has long since used up the deuterium used for fuel fusion. So Erdak is not luminous like some brown dwarfs are. Erdak is a class L brown dwarf with a relatively low temperature of 1300 degrees Celsius, but its heat and gravity have made it unpopular for development. There are rumours that the heads of several Omega crime, system, crime syndicates maintain private residences on various moons. Whatever the truth of the matter, battles between syndicate vessels are often observed around the ring planet. News outlets on Omega maintain satellites at Erdak's long-range points for real-time coverage of these battles, which garner, garner high viewer ratings. Okay, um, we're going to do some scanning. A moderate amount of resources here. Got 20 probes. why they made this such like a kind of mini game just because there's not really much to it is there launching probe that's not worth launching a probe for Probe. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Probe away. Okay, it's gone down to poor now. Last one. And we're out of here. Oh. Now Doctor's outfit. Okay, let's go to the fuel depot. How much money did that cost? I have no idea. 
right. Uh, so let's go to the mastery then. So these are other star systems in this cluster here. I feel like I want to go and explore. Uh, pick up one. Uh, pick up another squad mate. Um, and I'm gonna use Morden and Garrus to go with me. If we go to Zaid's, we're gonna need to take Zaid's. So, kind of feel like. Oh, the Serpent Nebula is where the Citadel is, and the Thief is on the Citadel. Hmm. Should we really go back to the Citadel this early? I feel like we should probably go to the Normandy crash site then. Before we go to the Citadel. I'd like to get this Master Thief. Maybe we get this Warlord. Oh man, this is how indecisive am I being right now? Recruit the convict. We've got two biotics already though, right? A Krogan would be interesting. Well, I think it was a Krogan. Okay, we're going. Let's check it out. So there's Corliss. I am interested to read all the other planets, which is what I would traditionally do. Do we still need to go around the asteroid belts for any reason? <laughs> Look at this little planet. Oh, Salry. Corvus Solarian, Fire Maiden, is a boiling hot dwarf planet close to the G-class star Emir. Too hot for lucrative exploration, its only satellites are defunct solar arrays destroyed by pirates long ago. Okay, um, it's, it's weird because I want to read all these, but we're not going to be... I don't want to waste time scanning just at the minute. I'd like to go and jump into this quest. So we're in Emir at the minute. And we're going to go and recruit this warlord. On Corlus. A garbage scow? Scov? A garbage scow with a climate. How was one Citadel count was how one Citadel council member described Corlus at the turn of the century. And ever since then the Corlus Tourist Bureau has been attempting to rebrand their planet. It hasn't worked though. They've tried calling it the recycling centre of the galaxy. Corruption scandals and a staggering murder rate ensure that Corliss's image is permanently stained. Corliss's biggest business is the recycling of decommissioned or junked spacecraft into their component parts. While the invention of Omnigel has made this process significantly cleaner, it's still a dirty business that chokes Corliss's sky with smog and fills it its ports with megatons of scrap. A shady hospitality industry and a scavenger underclass round out the spectacle of urban decay. Travel advisory. Corliss ranks second in murder per capita in the terminus systems and first in off-world murder. Civilian traffic is encouraged to employ professionals when visiting. Population 3.8 billion. Capital Chokwo. Wow man, this is amazing. I love getting to go to these populated planets because I feel like everywhere we went in the first game besides the Citadel was kind of like a research station or you, you know, everywhere really, right? Uh, the kind of four main places we went to, right? Yeah. We're going. Okay, so I'm, yeah, I'm going to take Garrus uh, with his new armor. And I'm going to take Morden, who is obviously an engineer, so we might be a little bit weak here. But they're my new characters, so it would be nice, right? Um, I don't need the points. We definitely... How is Garrus not loyal to us at this point? I mean, really. Firing concussive shot. So we need concussive shot round to a Turian rebel. Enhances his skills, weapon damage, health. Okay. AP ammo, that would be really nice. 
Okay, so we want to unlock Overload. Obviously. We want to put... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 no, no, no! Oh. <sighs> Oh, he's already got one point in concussive shot. That's why uh, I didn't realise. God. <laughs> okay. So I couldn't max out concussive shot. I think we just put the points into Turian Rebel, right? We'll have four points left. An extra 6% damage. Cheerian Renegade or Cheerian Survivor? I mean, we'd definitely go for Renegade because he's a sniper rifle user, right? Right, so we're basically kind of engineer mixes kind of gone mad here with this group. Alright, I'm going to go for that. We'll have the one point left over, but... Okay, now he's kind of pretty much the same as us, except he has Neural Shock. So obviously we want to unlock Cryoblast, even though if it's even though it's not really that good. I think I'll do the same with him. Uh, he doesn't get a uh, a drone like us. Increases his tech knowledge, further increasing the strength of his shields. Increases Morden's weapon damage. Uh, the strength of his shields? That's a tricky one. How much is he really going to be shooting? And we're saving up our points for tech mastery. Alright. Uh, weapon loadouts. We're fine there. This singularity thing is pretty insane. But we obviously would want the arc projector if we're going to run into Geth. But I don't know... Did it say this was collectors? I think it did. So he's got the heavy rifle. This is sniper right, but we haven't got any upgrades for that just yet. Morden. Yeah, I think we're fine with that loadout. Let's go. Yeah, this place is a mess. Dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Perfection is your goal. Loudspeakers. Someone likes the sound of their voice. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Okay, not sure I like this headpiece, but we'll try it out for one mission. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, oh, I want us to save. Known as the Starcraft Cemetery. Oh, we should read that. Sorry, my narrator friend. Uh, Corlys. Known as the Starcraft Cemetery, Corlys was the regional toxic junkyard for centuries. Ships reaching astronautical near death at connecting mass relays were sent to Corlys, stripped of every useful component, then dumped planetward. Planet wood, planet wood, planet woods, to clear shipping lanes. Currently, Corlys hosts numerous mercenary factions such as the Blue Suns, rumored to be using downed ship fossils to test advanced munitions. Massive gun batteries threaten anyone attempting planetfall with minimal defenses against ground attack. Because ancient volcanism greenhoused the planet, Corlys was too hot and CO2 rich to develop a biosphere, despite the abundant, abundant lakes that could have sponsored the development of life. Now cool enough to protect for protected habitation, but too scorching for anyone but extremophiles and mercenaries seeking secrecy. Corliss supports numerous Krogan outposts. The Krogan have therefore seeded Corliss with hardy Varen, often kept as warhounds. Varen live primarily on a diet of geophagus vermin and, and each other. Interesting. Okay, so we are fresh meat here, essentially. Okay, we've got no map where we are now.
Oh. Look at that floating past. Sorry, I'm just trying to look at this uh, headpiece. It's a little bit much, isn't it? But I suppose with our hair, with the hair we've got, yeah, it looks fine. Being hired is merely the beginning. You must earn your place in the mighty army we are building. Okay, don't shoot then. We want to join. A warlord. Lookout position. Equipped for combat. Where? Dude! Hit. Next. Right, Garrus, where the hell are you? Right, Garrus, I want you using your sniper rifle, mate. Gonna get ambushed here a lot, and there's gonna be uh, the dog things. A wounded mercenary. Hello there, human. He's shit, part of the blue sun song. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. Your mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. Uh, some metagel might perk you up. I've got a nice application of metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather I just keep walking. Son of a bit. I, I just. I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan up there. He, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's Jeez. all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. Reply with bad directions. will be best here. We need to endear him a little bit, I suppose. What would be best here? To give them bad directions? Maybe. Dude, just get rid of them. You know them better than we do. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol? The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report. You got it. Dispersed. Understood. Female Krogan. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. So who's the warlord? Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all this? We can't go in the labs, but everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy, mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. So, I don't know, maybe he's doing a similar thing to what Saren was trying to do. Why is he breeding weird, uh, different kind of Krogan? What is Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. <laughs> I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Wait, sh wait. He's saying, sh do you mean Akia? What is Jador playing? Oh, Jador, to do sorry. With all these Replaces prop. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? All right, buddy. What kind of fortifications? Is Jador's lab heavily guarded. 
There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. Okay, big guns. You should start running, buddy. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Come on, can't Shit. we give him Medigel? Oh. Adding insult to injury. Literally. Necessary. Maybe <laughs> not. Felt good, though. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation, legal and otherwise. I don't have to... Stay sharp. If in your get ready. Okay. Come at. Oh. It burn nicely. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I meant. Be right there. We'll stay close. Sorry, Morden. Taking Over cover. there. Firing eye impact shot. <clears throat> Come on. Deploying is that one. Nice one. Scoped and dropped. <laughs> Garrus has got a bit more boisterous. <laughs> oh. Won't go, that won't go through cover, will it? Headshot. There we go. Okay, I don't think we missed anything. Looking very red here, chaps. Tank grown Krogan. Hey there, friend. Tank grown. Wait. Wait. You are different. Oh, no. You. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you... Something makes me speak. Night cycles? Seven days? Lab bred, but fully grown. They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Mm. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bred... to kill? No. I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. Mm -hmm. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Okay, this is interesting. He sounds incredibly cerebral. <laughs> what about the voice? Uh, what's this voice? Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice, not like now, with ears. 
inside. I call it father. It liked that, but it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A breeding program? Trying to escape Genophage effects? Escape? Escape was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. And we've got like a kind of uh, Blade Runner replicant situation going on here with the Krogans, right? Born as adult adults, maybe they've got a shorter lifespan. Bred for maybe specific purposes, more some more warrior-like, some other of other kinds. Is what he's saying possible, Morden? I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? Uncertain. Likely irrelevant. Appears Okir has had no success. Uh, but they fa but he's failed. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. If Mercenary was correct, Krogan prone to mental instability. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. So you're only seven days old. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. Interesting. Raised, then rejected. Hmm. Control group, failed test. I don't know, but I am not perfect. What do you know about Jador? This is a female Krogan. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. Okay, so it might be a human then. Can you show me the lab? Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The glass mother. She is up past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. <laughs> I will show you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Tank. There's only a baby. You fleshy things are slow <laughs> when big things are in your way. Uh, is there a reason why you stayed in this location? You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me if they come, I fight. But I will not run. And I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. A slave. Krogan Blood Rage. Not a lot of room to maneuver. Stay sharp. The hell was that? You should probably read that codex entry. Hey! Mordin. Okay, we're gonna have to fight some Krogan as well then. They're not all gonna be as nice as Tank. That's not crap. Get ready to oh, fight. really? Gonna have to use the other gun for a bit. Ready to die. No, are you? Deploying incineration tech. Need to die. Uh. 
I'm stuck. <sighs> yeah, this gun is really weak, obviously, but I've run out of ammo on the other one. Is he still alive? No. Will you? Just the thing to help. They've got armor and not shields, right? So. Oh. Man, if that snap freeze hits, it's awesome. Man, these things are everywhere. Things, these Krogan, sorry. Was lucky. Headshots, man. Is it over? Okay, that was deep. that was all right. We're just going to end up killing everyone. Very industrial place, so maybe there won't be much to hack and stuff. Uh, they've not got shields right, so using the shuriken is kind of pointless. Yeah, shields and biotic barriers against armor, but not shields. Shields are blue, biotic barriers are purple. Right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, this is easy enough. Okay, not going that way. On our six. Copy, God damn it. Oh my god, I thought the game crashed. I'll take it. Nice. Sniper rifle damaged. An upgrade. Where's this power cell? Heavy weapon ammo. Sure. I need to remember to use that more. Now we increased the medigel capacity, so that's what that is. Headed for combat. Oh, oh my god! Get to cover! <laughs> I've saved it right before the door, right? Jesus. Oh, what? Alright. This looks interesting. Come 
Come on, save it. Job drone. And I like that we're getting to these kind of down and dirty places now. It's kind of cool, right? Oh. Come on, guys. Wait, is Garrus dead? Deploying incineration tech. Nice shooting. Man, they've got like tracking rockets. I'm right into that. Alright, to me, guys. You got it. Not again, Gareth. Oh, they've got shields. Damn it. Wow, that was tough. I didn't even realise Garrus was down there. My bad. Concentrate on the Krogan charge or we're all dead. Who was a genius who gave them arms? <laughs> Sorry, I took that literally then. A PDA? Let's do it. Da -da -da. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Got it. I really like this game. 4,000 credits. Useful. We do need money for a lot of different things. Right, for the Krogan, we're going to need to use this uh, heavy weapon a bit. Have heavy weapon a bit more, right? Oh, he's regening his shields, man. You sneak. Oh, 
Wait, hang on. I'm sure that that's supposed to... Uh... Yeah, overpower shields. This should slow him down. Kill that one. There's some ammo over here. Uh oh, where? How is he still alive? Shield down. All right. We're going to need to move forward here, guys. Spamming rockets. Now, mate, he's going to get his shield back. More din. Yeah, I think we're a bit squishier than the other team, maybe. Ah, it's going to happen. That's why we've got unity, right? We need some more medigel, though. This is the most anyone's died in any of the missions. Uh, is there a med, medi thing anywhere? <laughs> sure, I like this game. No. No. There we go. It's quite a distinct one. No medigel, this is a problem, man. Can't save, so there's a fight here. Shots, move forward, guys. Yeah, I think that's it. Nope. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, get in cover seriously, Garrus. Oh. 
Oh. oh, damn. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. Uh, we got uh, flanked then. Uh, did I get this? Yep. Yeah, I guess we're just a bit. Uh, we've not got really got a mixed squad here. We've got kind of three engineers essentially. Let's try and stay over on this side for the time being. Okay, I need to chill for a second. Get the drone in there. Reload. Hey. Oh my god. Oh wait a minute. I think I just sent someone in. Oh Morden's dead. Nice shot. Nice shots, Matt, for once. <laughs> Nice headshots, man. Oh, Garrus, are you kidding, mate? Here, enjoy. Did he just heal someone? Thank you. Man, that was fun. Getting in sync with the headshots a bit, you know. Let's make sure we don't miss anything. Sweep up the ammo. I'm still not using the heavy weapon, I know, guys. You're probably shouting at me. Especially when they're grouped up like that. I'm just not remembering. I'm just getting kind of lost in the heat of battle, trying to use my powers. Cryo freeze, I guess, would be good. Let's double check to see if we picked up a level up. No, not yet. Uh, experience to next level, 220. I'm not sure how much experience we generally pick up. Right, let's, let's hit the save button. Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. No way. That's the scientist. That's the scientist from 
from Vermeer, who we like, who we let go. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Mm -hmm. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still <laughs> a second chance. Uh, so why are you here? I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab? Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even huh. if his methods are a little extreme. Uh oh. No morals. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. Uh, what can you tell me about Okir's work? What is Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Hmm. So, yeah, you should probably try harder to, you know, work for le less questionable courses. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. Hey! Should have killed her. Too much knowledge without ethical boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I really like Morgan, man. He's like, uh... I don't know. He's just kind of like, you know, the pragmatist, like the walking pragmatist. He just, just says it unfiltered. I love it. Oh, thank you. No, no, no. Oops. I didn't see the red. Oh god, I've got to start again. I'm panicking. Whew. All right, uh, the episodes run a bit long. So, I'm gonna leave this on a cliffhanger, guys. I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, we're over the hour mark. I can't, I can't let this go any further. So, I'm gonna leave that episode there, guys. Uh, we've, we've made our way over to Okia, who's trying to not find a cure for the genophage. He's not doing it for money. He's not trying to breed an army. I don't know why he's doing all this, but he's obviously a scientist of extremely questionable morals. So, yeah, we're going to see how this goes in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. And just remember, everyone, never trust an oncrate. I'll see you back here with Mordin and Garrus. I'll see you then.